Welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be making corn in a cup. Um, this recipe video has got to be the top three most requested videos I've had since last year. Actually, let me, I know um, since last year, I've also had the request for the um, quesa tacos. I think that's kind of trending right now, or even last year, the uh, birria tacos, those street style tacos, it's kind of like cheese and birria and, you know, with the consume. Anyways, um, that one and corn in a cup has been requested a lot. So I'm doing corn in a cup today. Um, and I was actually going to give you a recipe that's like a stovetop version, but I thought about it and I said, nah, I gotta be real with you guys. When I do corn in a cup at home, it's in the microwave. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you how I do it at home. Go easy on me in the comment section. I know using a microwave for corn, but it's literally corn in a can, so there's a lot you can do with it, you know, flavor profile wise, but I just want to give you an easy peasy recipe and it's how I do it when the cameras are off. It's in the microwave, so I'm going to show you. Here's how I do it. <laughs> Let's see here. So here I have, this is golden or sweet golden corn. This is a 15.25 ounce can. I've drained all the liquid going right into my bowl. All right, so corn in my microwave safe bowl. Two tablespoons of butter, whether you have salted or unsalted, it's up to you. So now, here's the easiest part. I'm gonna put this for about 45 seconds to a minute in the microwave. Okay, so my corn, oh, this bowl is hot. So this is, look, I don't know how much corn in a cup you like, but technically you could just add everything to this bowl and have you a corn in a cup meal. But I'm gonna do like an individual serving. So let's pretend this is my little cup. It's just a little white bowl. You could layer this, but what I like to do is just literally go in with some corn. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit. The chili powder of my choice is tahine. I, I'm I'm a, a fiend for tahine. <laughs> this I put on everything, so use the chili powder of your choice. I know there's another brand that a lot of the street vendors use, and I actually don't like it. I like the flavor of tahine, so here we go. So I got my tahine, my corn. I'm going to go in with some fresh squeezed lime juice, just a, a squeeze here, maybe not the whole, just like that. So now, I mean, just it's up to you how, what you want. Here I have some mayonnaise, so right in here. Actually, what I like to do is add a little bit of mayo, and you can kind of stir it, you know, and just kind of get things going. You want to, I mean, it's in a cup. If you, you know, the street vendors make it look really nice where they layer and pile things and stuff, but when I'm at home, I mean, you're going to mix it anyways. I know I'm being all over the place. And here I have some cotija cheese. This, you could also use Parmesan cheese. Just, you know, what you got, use what you got. I had a little block of cotija cheese. I'm gonna add that right in there. And again, what I like to do is add a little bit of my toppings already in the corn, mix it up and then top it again. So let's just do that. So I actually added the entire bowl of corn in this little bowl this little cup slash bowl. Just depends how much mayo you like. I'm really just trying to make this look good. Oh, and here's the most important part, your hot sauce. The hot sauce I'm using is Valentin or Valentina hot sauce. You could use Tapatio. Use what you got. So we're gonna go in with some hot sauce over here. A little shake of my tahine, like that. And I got some Mexican crema. This is a Mexican table cream. I'm gonna go in with that, just like that. It's just gonna be what you like. 
you want to squeeze some more lime juice on top, go for it. And that's it. Let's hit it with some more cotija cheese. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I have this mixed. My husband won't mind if I take a bite of his corn in a cup. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, mm. so when it comes to corn in a cup, I mean, there's so many ways to make it. Some people are all about the heat. They'll skip the tahine and they will go straight for like cayenne pepper or the chili powder of their choice. Um, I, for those of you that follow me regularly, know that I cannot handle a lot of spice or heat. So a lot of the stuff that I make, it's not really going to be spicy. For example, that corn in the cup, that has some heat with that uh, hot sauce that I used, but it's good, that's how you make it. So find the happy ratio that you like and the method that you like. You could definitely do it on the stove top and kind of fry it up a little bit with that butter, but <laughs> I make it in the microwave. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching. Bye.